Thank you, Carla. Well, two adults and a child are dead after what police are calling a double murder suicide in Portage last night. They've been identified as 39 year old Henry Bates, 31 year old Brianna Bates and six year old Zenzia Bates. Today we're learning more about the victims and the police response. 13 on your side's Elena Holland spoke to family members today and tells us how they're remembering their loved ones. Family member we spoke with said six year old Zenzia or boo as those who loved her called her was best friends with her son. She's now struggling to come to terms that she's now gone along with her friend Brianna at the hands of her husband and boo's father. Just is all still traumatic. <laughs> A difficult day as Melissa tries to find words to tell her son his best friend is gone. I, I, I haven't explained it yet. We haven't got that far. I don't know what to say to him yet. Tuesday night, police say Henry Bates shot and killed his wife, Brianna Bates, inside their Portage home. When police arrived, they met three children who said their six-year-old sister was still inside. After trying to contact Henry for two hours with the SWAT team, police went in. We immediately made entry, hoping to find the child. Uh, ultimately, we found that she was deceased as well. It's hard. Melissa said Brianna was a very loving person who did everything she could for her children. And Zenzia was always smiling. She was great. Oh my God. She came to my house every single day, oh, every day. Hey, no, Melissa, hey, Melissa, can I have some snacks today? Can I have some popsicles? <laughs> can I have some muffins? And it is very crappy that she's gone. It's really tough. For police, they hope to find some closure as to why this happened for the siblings. I have a grand grandson who's four and a half, and, and to see that kind of stuff is painful, and um, it messes with your mind. The three other children are now with family. Hopefully they're doing okay. Melissa said Henry Bates had a history of domestic violence and mental illness. In 2010, he spent a few years in prison, convicted of two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon and felony firearm. We had had contact with him before, but nothing that would lead us to think that anything like this would happen. No help was ever really given. Um, they tried, tried again, and he just kept coming back. And this is how it ended, I guess. The autopsies on those three will be performed sometime on Thursday. That's as police are trying to piece together what led up to this tragedy Tuesday night. Reporting in Portage, Elena Holland, 13 on your side. And earlier this summer, the U.S. launched a new suicide prevention hotline to make it even easier to get help in a crisis. The new number is 988. If you call, you'll be directed to a local call center to talk to someone who can help.